Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Angmar campaign. Uh, we're now taking on the Dudenain army um, which attacked us the last episode. Drangu um, with a couple of war graders are going to try to shoot up these um, Dudenain scouts. Let's see how it goes. Now let's keep not fire anymore. And you guys going from this side. Um, it looks like their Carland Riders are coming for us though. Um, so we might want to leave this battle now. Let's retreat. We're just going to let Drangu do some work and then retreat him as well. Yeah, and indeed these guys are now incoming. So let's try to avoid them as much as possible. You guys can, can do fire at will. Um, so today we are going to expand against the Northern Dunedain, which is going to be quite interesting in my opinion. Uh, let's see, this is the Dunedain Wardens. I think we're going to use the Rudar Savages against them. Let's see how much armor they got though. They got not that much armor actually. Um, but I kind of want to use the Pikes against the Cavalry. So we're going to charge them in against the Warden so that we can make the Cav uh, follow after us and make them uh, go right into the pikes. So we're going to trick them. And now, um, I really want to get some co constructive criticism. Um, oh jeez. Uh, because um, lately we have been growing a lot, which I'm very happy about. However, I really want to um, become the best YouTuber that I, ca I possibly can. Um, so please leave some feedback on what uh, you like on this channel and what you uh, wish were a bit better. Um, oh Jesus, that's not good at all. Uh, now Drango, you need to help over here. You Pikes, uh, you should just be quite aggressive. Bring down the Dunedain Scouts. You war graders, go over here. These guys are probably going to be sacrificed. Uh, but we should be able to win this battle. You guys should start firing into the Cardinal Riders. And you should start going around here. And actually hit these uh, Cardinal Sentinels. These guys are getting target now as well. Uh, let's try to bring down the Cardinal Sentinels with both of our war units. Uh, let's... Um There we go. You as well. And you guys start hitting the Carlin Riders. Now, the works in this patch is actually just quite incredible. So far they have showed very to be very good in melee. So I think you definitely want to use your um, your works in melee as well. We're going to see how well Drango performs in this battle. But I think it will be quite good. Now you guys uh, pull out as well. And go for another cycle, cycle charge. You guys uh, could actually stand over here and just shoot these guys in the back. Enemy and there the enemy general goes. That's excellent. Okay, so... It looks like they're going to... Um, route quite soon, so let's just go for another charge over there and finish off those wardens, make them route perhaps. Um, and Drango, you're just going to charge into these Carlin Sentinels. Another very nice charge. Uh, you guys uh, could definitely go for these guys now. Just retreat and don't get surrounded. Should be able to route this entire army not too long now. I'm actually, actually quite happy to win this battle though. I wasn't um, quite expecting it. Um, they had a lot of good units. Like the Northern Dundan, um they have a lot of strong units uh, in comparison to us. However, uh, we have a very nice mix. Um, but we have a lot of armor piercing units with which doesn't really favor us, um, I must confess. Especially against the Northern Dundine early game units. Uh, however, oh jeez, look at this charge. 
And this is just arch units. It's so incredible. From such tidings does victory emerge. Okay. But we have units that can be very efficiently used, like the pikemen. Um, if you just make them stand still, they can take almost no losses. Um, and we have these war riders, which is in this patch is just in quite incredible. Look at that new animation. It's just it's bring them down much faster than before. These guys were utterly obliterated though. Took a lot more casualties than we could have, I guess. You guys just finish this off now. Alright, just going to capture them all. The Drango is going to be the general which um, conquers the whole of uh, Erdo, to be honest. He's so incredible. So that was a heroic victory. And Mount Crime Raiders and War Raiders got the most kills. No surprise there, of course. Now, I hope that I have tried to adjust the microphone volume a bit so that I'm not so uh, loud because I have tried to inve investigate my uh, videos and see what I could do better and I kind of uh, saw that often <laughs> my intro is a bit loud so I was trying to adjust that. Um, and I think the music in the background should be uh, quite nice um, matching up with the volume now as well there are certain things like my English which I can't really do much about initially initially uh, <laughs> just as you hear that um, but I'm going to work on it um, but I will of course gain some experience um, after I commentate commentate a lot um, so I know that I have, uh, I could uh, be better in English, of course. Um, but please just give feedback on everything, like what do you think I can grow on and what uh, what do you think I should uh, uh, do and what I do good. All right, uh, we're not going to adopt him. Yes. Uh, let's see, not quite a glow. Oh, they have uh, quite a small garrison now. Um, An order. However, I thought I saw someone over there. We do have this uh, spy. Uh, he's not able to see it all though. As much as I would like Hunwon, but perhaps Hunwon is perhaps better to lead this army, um, I suppose. Considering um, I'm not quite sure. What do these guys have? They have Dunedain bodyguards. Um, they have a lot of armor actually, so the um, Hunwon is going to be very useful in that manner. And they have these guys. I think we are going to use Hunwon yes. to attack Nokwaraglaw. Let's reinforce with all of these guys. Uh, Drango go back here. Your will, my lord. No sleeping here. I think that should be sufficient enough. Lord Skill will go into the fort. Remnants of Angmar, new family member. Uh, we need to take a tax down over here. So someone actually mentioned that we can recruit whites um, if we get the second, the temple of uh, Melkor, I believe it is called. Yes, we can actually get uh, Barrow Whites then. So I'm definitely going to to build the um, the shrine of Melkor because it also gives population bonus so it's not actually it's not a bad investment at all so we're going to build that next uh, turn we're already building it here um, and we might actually be able to get it out of here as well uh, let's just uh, double check it now I think we need it to be a castle to be able to recruit Barrowites and it's um, limited to certain regions as well um, I don't think we can get them here either. Let's just double check. Yeah, we can't. Even though it's a castle, it has to be a Numenorian region or something. But I, I guess Kandrum uh, can recruit it anyways because it's Kandrum after all. Now, 
Uh, we need to focus on our economy, so what we don't really want to build anything down here. In Barkeleg, um, we are building the Great Hall, and in Ansul, we are already building stuff. Uh, Agendar should just build a few more towers. Oh, uh, the... No, they still haven't to capture them. The, the neighbor region, the blue dwarves. The, the dwarves of Eredluin. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we could send some more wards down here, I suppose. Uh, let's send these guys over here. Just have them in reserve. And do we have... Yeah, we do definitely have enough um, melee units. They do have these two units, which is very good in melee. But we have pikes to counter these guys. So I think we'll be fine. And we have full one after all. So we can build stuff only in... Litash at the moment, so let's go for something economy based. I don't think we need to go for a great hall We already have a lot of upkeep in this region. I Kind of want to save up for the crop rotation um, I think that would be quite useful. We're going to earn a lot more money out of it um, So let's actually wait a turn and just save up money Morvatharth, yeah all right, I think that's it for this turn. If we can recruit these guys in one turn, then we'll do it, and we'll send this unit back. Uh, can we actually? Yeah, he will be fine, actually. So let's just send him over there. We might want... No, let's just wait. Let's see if what happens around Nokwaraglo. They did not uh, sally out, uh, which means we are going to take them down this turn. Now it will be interesting to see how large the region of Nokwaraglo is. Um, My lord. I, b I believe it's quite large. So we are going to border quite south. Okay. Um, Kandum, Shadun. Okay. In Kandum, yeah, we are already building this. Um, Litash. We do just have the money. But we finished something here as well. Uh, yeah, um, I'm actually tempted to go for the crop rotation here instead. It looks like we get a much larger bonus from this um, settlement. So let's do it. Your will. An order. Get can ready I for actually fighting. merge these two units? We can only Merging hold for four order. turns, but we don't really have a replenishing uh, problem. Yes. So I guess why yes. not just... Um, Nothing Attack them escape. straight away. Uh, you are almost there. In Ansu, let's get a proper garrison. We actually don't have enough money. Let's just do this, and they will be f they will be there soon enough. An order. Yeah, we have two pike units, and we have Hun Wan, and we do have these Rudolph savages. Uh, I think we should just go for it. To crush the enemy. Uh, I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, we're here. <laughs> They're just camping at the town center. This might become very easy. We'll have to see. This is the Dunedain bodyguards. That's the general unit for the northern Dunedain. And they are effective against armor. Um, they're a quite strong unit. Um, so if you are the Dunedain, certainly use them to their full potential. Uh, they also use their axes afterwards, and I think that's where the armor piercing comes from. They actually have the range from this um, place. That's quite impressive. And are they targeting the Barrow Whites? They are indeed. Um, they are targeting a good unit because these guys don't have a lot of armor. But they will replenish, that's why I sent them first with the ram. Now let's just... Um, we're going to rush in with these guys. Uh, try to just let the pikes um, do some heavy work. Now, let's try to run them up here. And this small unit as well is going to help. We've captured the enemy's walls. Yeah, they are going to get a lot of uh, hits off, but uh, it won't um, it won't be too much. Uh, you could probably run now. 
you guys are supposed to engage. We might need another unit as well. Uh, let's just bring in another pike unit. Bin one has taken some a few hits though. Now we just want to bring these guys down into pike formation, and they should be more than fine. Now Hun one is going to flank around and take these guys inside. I think these guys have a lot of armor. Yeah, they do. So Hun one is going to be able to do some heavy damage on these um, on these horse um, horses. Let's bring these guys up. And this cavalry, I mean. And I'm go definitely going to get these guys out of Quandrum. I, I think they're one of the coolest units in this patch, to be honest. Their look is so nice. Especially these Anorian helmets. I mentioned it in the last episode as well, but I just think they are really cool. Now, these Dundan bodyguards are not able to do much, looks like. And these guys are slowly coming up. Now let's just bring in a few more units. I guess we could even send in the war graders. Um, let's just pinch in some Javis onto these guys. And now I guess we could use these guys to go for the wardens. Let's just flank a little bit. Let's use the ability as well. Okay. The works are soon incoming and the pikes are already on their way. Okay. You guys walk over here. And you are going to use your Javis over here. I'm going to try to feed the Dundan bodyguards with a few Javis because they are, after all, um, quite quite heavily armored, and Javis is definitely what we used to want to use against those. These guys now, come on. Kind of want to flank with these pikes. Let's just try to bring them out. Actually, we brought in the the wrong unit. That's why. These guys have two similar uh, pictures. To be honest, they should get um, different ones. Now, Hun one is getting targeted by the Dundan bodyguards. So let's send in the pikes uh, from behind. Now, hit the bodyguards. I don't know why these guys are so slow now. Uh, you guys are going to sound like this. Yeah, they were just too slow to actually help us at all. But I think we are winning this battle quite easily now. These pikes and their pike animation is just too overpowered. You can, in theory, even use farmhand pikemen to bring down extraordinarily good units just because of the pike animation. So, whatever faction you play, always use the pikes and just let them, um, let them stay in a position and just defend. That's the best way to use them. You guys can uh, flank over here. And there he goes. Excellent. The men of Rudar have prevailed against the Northern Dunedain. There we go. The hillmen. And there we go, finally. So we lost 65 and we killed 266. The Barrow Whites got a lot of kills. I think. Uh, the generals for Angmar is very good, they have a lot of diversity, and you don't even start with 
a single normal general. So we haven't even taken a look at the normal general yet. And that's what I really like about that, that the generals is quite unique. It just brings a lot more diversity to your roster and how different you can play your faction. Now Agendar is also a very strong general and just having in a fort is probably not what we want to do. Uh, we're going to sack My Lord. Weather Hills. Oh, we're already bordering them quite. Yeah, all right. Uh, I think I'm actually. I want to send out Drango once again. He's going to build more towers. And the Overlord Agendar is going south. In one turn, we'll have another free upkeep. Um, okay. And this army, we could potentially head out with it. Yeah, we definitely need to build... Actually, I'm going to cancel this one. And I'm going to build this one. Even though a meeting hall would be the first thing to build over here. Um, we have two units here. Now we can build something here. Um, let's just go for a leather tanner instead for the farms just um, at the moment so that we can instead be able to recruit some units. I think our strategy is just to use a lot of trash and then bring a lot of wargs with us. Um, let's let's let um, the uh, trash just hold the line and let the wargs just um, charge that could potentially work out very well with uh, the roster we got here i think now kameth brin i really want to go for it and kind of break in yes. is however the northern dundine is quite close now and if we were to expand down here it wouldn't be that hard to expand over here as well but it's only the 10th turn um But let, uh, let's uh, make an army, I think. And we're getting a unit here as well now. Okay, great. Um, an order. Get ready for fighting. Orcs! Let's leave a unit of conscripts. And perhaps we could... Could I'm go over here and them. at least build a tower. They don't know why they have taken settlement over here as well. Uh, we'll stop here. We're not uh, far off Bree now, or Deadman's Dyke though, we're really close actually. Um, so why not just hit uh, the Northern Dundan once we have the chance? It looks like they're quite idle, but of course they might come with a lot of units um, that we're not able to see. Let's just end the turn and see what happens. But we are making solid money, so we could definitely bring a large army and try to expand into the lands of the Dundain. Okay. Angsu. Uh, we now have a proper garrison here as well. We do have a lot of... ...of culture. Not really tempted to build anything here at the moment. We have a nice garrison here now. Uh, Thoradan could probably go back and retrain. These guys could go here. Uh, Agendaur, we are going to go to this fort. Drangu, build a tower. Weathertop is reached. Asu. The Dunedain's lands look completely empty, to be honest. I think we should just push them. Now, we definitely want more armies, though. Um, let these guys head down. Hunwon, just go over here and build a tower. It might be because of the very strong Moria in this patch. And that is why there's nobody here. I do not know, but um, I'm definitely going to take advantage of it. 
Um, this turn we're going to recruit as many units as we can. More wargs, excellent. Um, let's get more of these guys. Should probably retrain these guys as well. In Barkeleg. Let's get the leather tanner for some more money. And let's recruit one of those. Ang Sulu will be okay for now. You could just go to this fort, just get all reinforcements that we can. Um, and hitting Bree wouldn't be bad either. But they have a lot of uh, stacks armies at the moment. So for now we're going to hit down south and just uh, surround the Dunedine in this corner and pin them between the goblins of Morianas and then we're going to head uh, into the west uh, but um, there's still um, rebel regions here which protects us so that's very useful for us now we might need um, some more generals down here but we are already sending Agendaur down can't recruit anything here yet okay that's it for this turn then But things are looking very promising over here. Um, it's almost like I wonder if they have a very giant army somewhere. But uh, the AI is usually not that smart, so uh, we'll have just have to see about it. Independent realms. My lord. Bordering Breland would be stupid. Yes. Um, An order. I guess we could build another yes. tower over here as well. As you command. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. Yes. Move! Nothing shall escape your notice. Yeah, I still can't really see anything down here. Let's just try to look a bit more. There's Chieftain Argon and he's all alone. Um why not go for Fenestrunin? Imlar just looks strong though. Uh, we might want to send our spy over there once again. Kamath Brins looks also like a suitable target. Captain Hamar, you go down here. Not quite a law, we have free upkeep. And we can recruit units, excellent. We're just going to be on the fence here now. It's going to hit our income, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, you guys go down here. We are getting proper units now. I forgot to retrain those guys. Uh, let's send them down as well as these guys. We're still making decent money. So that's nice. We're getting this war though. That's going to hit us. Let's just save so that we can afford the temple next turn. Let's just wait a bit with you. Yes. An order. Yes. They still haven't taken this uh, this uh, area. That's very nice. Okay. Should we go for Imladris or Northern Dunedine? We'll have to see about it. Taking Osul is not a bad idea because you can station a lot of troops um, at Amonsul, um, the fort beside Osul. Oh, we got 1000. Um, let's go for the temple now. We get this works. Excellent. Ready for fighting. As you wish. Your will, my lord. My lord. An order. Now let's just build up a proper army here before we start going down yes. south. I'm actually all, almost tempted to. We're going to try to attack Kamath Brin with only Drangu. We have this unit as well, which we can use. We're going to see how that ends, but it could potentially be quite successful. Thirduin, yeah, here they have their armies. They look really weak though. Your command, my lord. An order. 
Yeah, we could probably take this upkeep. I don't think we need Agendao just yet. Yes. Uh, we are doing fine at, as it is. Can we recruit more units? No, we have to wait a little bit. Let's just um, recruit another one here. Just have them ready as we need them. Okay, just another end turn right there. Just building up this army. When the warks arrive, we should be fine. And these, yeah, they will arrive almost the same turn. And with that army, I think we're going to be able to um, swipe over the northern dune line like a storm. Taking out Bree is not a bad idea either because of the economy. But I just really want to get rid of um, Fenastrunin and then hit Imladris. Alright, these guys. You guys could potentially just go together. We have two units now though. Uh, where's our spy? So here. Oh yeah, the goblins of Moria are... This is what I talk about, they have Azog Defilers, that's why they are so OP, because they start, their army start with a very strong army. That might be fixed in the hotfix, but uh, I haven't been able to install it just yet. Um, so they are quite OP to be honest. Okay, this army will be very strong and it will be able to move not, um, in not too long. Um, are we going to just try this? Use these two units. That would be quite cool. Let's send up another spy. Oh yeah, they're just pushing hard, aren't they? I don't think we should take out Fenastrunian just yet because the goblins are pushing so hard. That um, would just uh, help us, to be honest. Not long until we get this built. Hmm, okay. Let's save up for these uh, farms over here. They're just making so much uh, income. Let's end the turn again. Hasn't been this eventful just yet. The Goblins of Mar just uh, just keeping the Northern Dundan very occupied. I guess playing a Northern Dundan campaign wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, and I'm thinking about doing it after the Gundabad one, uh, which will start in not too long. All right, now we have a proper army. Uh, this one should be able to conquer lots of uh, Northern Dundan. We're going to take down Tirduin. Um, Tried them, the okay, we spent. actually have to go through here first. Them, um, I'm almost tempted to just go straight for Imladris with this army. Lord, approaching quietly tomorrow. Yes. Let's just have some upkeep on Django. Kind of forgot this upkeep now. Let's get uh, some roads here just so that the troops can travel a bit faster. Um, our culture will go up. And here, um, I said we were going to save for the mines, but I guess building stuff in multiple places uh, would also be useful. Let's go for the farming here, perhaps, or the grain. Let's see. Let the channel here for money and. In Barkeleg, let's go for the grain exchange. Yeah, it should be fine. An order. Yes. We'll You're quite here. far off, but it doesn't look like the Northern Dunai is close to pushing us. Them. 
So I think we should just go straight for Inladris instead. An order. Let's bring them down. That's another large enemy which is just pushed off the map. And we will be able to earn a lot of money. And we definitely want to get Imladris before the Goblins of Moria. Um, simply because if we are going to obtain the Witch King, we need to have taken Imladris. Hornburg sieged. Yes. As you command. We go no further today. Okay, let's use our spy here and check if we can be used. Oh, it's two Elven Generals. I don't think Drangu and Hillman will be enough, to be honest. Um, Is that what you oh, jeez. They might just snap, uh, snatch uh, Kameth Brynn at first. Um, we could potentially just attack them and... They have Eldar, Eldarin and Nobles now. There's just no way. Um, yes. We're just going to wait. We could potentially use Drangu to just siege this place out and just retreat every turn um, so that these guys can't really... Um, so that uh, Moria won't be able to take this place, but... Nah, I think that's just stupid. Like, I do a lot of game-breaking stuff in my campaigns because I don't consider it cheating and I, th and I just find it fun to try to um, exploit the game as much as possible um, but some things I just don't like okay she'll keep going for now you lay very open though um, we definitely want to get the great hall after this the leather channel now still making a solid money now, let's just wait one more turn so we can get this one. And in one turn, we should be able to get the Barrow Whites. It's probably a bit longer to wait though, but we'll see. Yes. I guess these guys could be pushed down to this fort. And um, you guys can push out this fort. And that's simply just... Another turn that we can just finish off. Doesn't really bother me though. Uh, we're just coming close to the barracks went. And it would be very nice to take him Ladris this um, episode. We just gotta wait until they have a, a yes. pretty small garrison. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, we don't actually own this land. As you command, we shall slaughter them, my lord. Or potentially make them uh, sally out. I think that would be the most useful. Now, can we recruit Barrow Whites now? We can. Wow. Excellent. Um, we're going for the crop rotation though. That's definitely going to bring us a lot of money. However, doing it in Kandrum should potentially bring us even more. Being a bit better perhaps. Yeah, we rather want to do it in our, in our capital when I think about it. Uh, let's um, rather go for economic buildings before going for the Barrow Whites. In Nokwaragla, one more turn. Uh, let's just save money. An order. Hanging down is not no far off. Let's just build a watch tower there as well. If the Northern Dundan pushes now though, we do want, um, we do have these guys and we have, yeah, they will be stationed here. We could probably bring uh, An order. more yes. halt down to this fort though, so it's a bit closer. And we should also get works when we can, just to have an army ready. We could potentially get one more unit here as well. Hmm. It's just really weird to, like, as I said, I've never played this campaign before, but uh, just really looks like the Northern Duna is just very, very idle. And I think it's because of um, 
the goblins of Moria. Yes. All right, you're going to stay here now. That will bring us even more money. We are building the great hall. These are these lands are fine. What holds will go in here? Can't really build anything, but we'll yes. be able to attack Imladris in the next turn. So I guess the best tips I have for you in this campaign is um, taking out rebel settlements very early on and do the strategy which I did so it makes that you're able to take it very quick. Uh, we will get 1500 for Kavith Brin. Oh, Elry here is here. Oh, if we're really lucky, he will actually... No, he won't. I was hoping to get the garrison in Mladris out as well. Now we'll see some battle with a few, a couple of elves. That's going to be interesting. How many casualties are we going to take against the greatest bodyguard in the game? Um, except for perhaps um, the Muma kill general in Harad. Now these units are just um, the trash tier of elves, but they're still very, very good. You see how much the recruitment cost is. But we have a very large cavalry force. I think we could be able to deal with them quite nice. All right, I will see you on the battlefield. All right, guys. Now let's look at our position. Yeah, that's quite superior. Um, my plan is to try and make them attack us. Look, Noldorian Guard, one of the best bodyguards in the game. Uh, let's take a look at our stats. Um, oh yeah, we gotta be a bit closer first, actually. Um, now let's bring these guys a bit further down. And let's just let them shoot, to be honest. Uh, I think these guys are going to shred our our wargs, so we really want to just charge them straight, straight ahead. And then hopefully they will attack us. Uh, we actually want to bring them all out of this fire at Uru mode. They're going to slaughter our works, um, but we need to just attack them and make them attack us. There we go. That's at least some charges. Now let's bring them out very quickly. Um, and let's just hope that... Um, oh yeah, there we got a nice charge. And let's just hope that they will now attack us. Uh, we're just going to retreat up to this mountain again. And while we do that, let's just have them at fire at will. So that we get a few kills while we retreat. Yeah, we took out 7% already. It should be an easy task. However, these guys are of course elves. Uh, let's put them over here. You guys are going to start harassing the sword Quendi. These are the, the skirmishers. We haven't tried them out yet. They should be quite good against uh, sword Quendi, which yeah, actually they have uh, not too much armor, but they should still be quite uh, capable of. Oh, jeez, yeah, the other ones are already targeting us, these archers, we gotta retreat. Elven arrows is something you don't really want to meet with these wargs. Just going to slaughter them. Uh, I just really want them to go into my um, my infantry and then we're going to surround them completely. Alright, the Noldorian guard is on their way now. Let's just send in all of our trash units and try to surround them. That's the plan. Alright, we can just keep it on while we do this. Right, you go over here. Just run all you can. These wargs uh, could potentially go up here now. And just take the Quendi in the back. You guys are going to surround. Uh, of course these Quendi will wreck these uh, kind of units. But uh, our goal is kind of to surround these guys. Uh, Alright, now you kind of stop. And conscripts attack. Now let's use these works in um, 
as uh, cavalry. The battle is very much in our and let's favor. send in Queen 1 as well. Alright, over here things are looking very grim. So now we're going to send you guys over here. Give these uh, elves a few volleys. Actually, you guys hit the bow, Quendi. The Noldorin guard. Uh, we definitely don't want to get hit by those. Queen one, you're going to deal with the Noldorin guard. Where is our Javis? They're over here. They're Engaging these elves, of course. Let's bring them out for another charge. Let's not charge these guys anymore. Uh, let's bring in these Rudar Savages. They're armor piercing. They should do quite well against uh, uh, the Noldorin Guard. A bit hard to navigate in this map. Only half the enemy force remains. These bow Quendi are utterly crushing these conscripts. Just look at the sword Quendi. Uh, <laughs> they're also rallying quite much. Uh, just send these guys up here, I suppose. Can't even see the unit. these guys are fighting. Oh, they're already finished. Let's run them over here. This is the problem with having too much cavalry though. It's a bit hard to really use them efficiently because you lose track of them and such. So that's something you definitely want to uh, look out for. Don't bring too many, too many units. And I think we actually brought a bit too many units in this army. These guys weren't really getting a nice charge. Now, how is the Noldorin Guard performing? They are quite heavily surrounded. These guys we need to bring out. And let's just surround them with all we got. All of these guys just hit the Noldorin Guard, which I can't even see at this point. There are only 18 left. These guys are surrounding the sword candy. Uh, we are getting reinforcements here. I think it's time to just let them do their job. These bow candy could use some a couple of charges in the back. There we go. That is a nice charge. That's what I'm talking about. And there, Eldra here goes. I believe it was Elrir. It might have been Eladan. We lost 90% of our army though. You just see the power of these elves. Right, there's some elves over here. And there we go. Yeah, we lost 450. I think that's to be expected. I haven't really fought much with orcs against the elves before. So don't really know how much you are expected to lose. But going for a skirmish battle in such a battle is just not worth it because the elves are going to get much more kills. So the best way is just surround them. And even when you surround a unit uh, of Sword Quendi with two units, uh, we're still going to take massive losses. It's just how powerful the elves are. All right, nice. Victory! Now, there's only three units here. Um, I'm almost tempted to just siege them out with like... Hmm. Let's think this through though. Uh, what it is, words, cameras is. Um, if we brought like Hun Wan and three units of pikes 
No. I think we're going to try a cheeky tactic. Um, oh, now I'm not actually able to do what I wanted. Uh, we'll have to do it for the next turn, though. Um, only a matter of time until the slaughter begins. I'm going to try to siege them with one unit and make uh, the whole city just um, reinforce or sally out against my uh, single unit and then I have a reinforcement army um, which will aid and then we're going to capture it very quickly. An order. Now if we bring down another unit here uh, we might be able to take out um, uh, Kamath Brin as well. What was I saving up for now? Uh, I guess we could just potentially go for some more economy buildings. Let's get uh, some communal farming here. And that's nice. Alright, let's just do a couple more turns. Uh, you should probably take a watch over the Dunedain. Or is there only one place to attack him legends from from? I'm not I'm not quite certain. Ladders besiege. Yes. Like if we move Pun One over here and move. Yes, and then attack with a single unit and then just have a few units in backup, it should work out. No sleeping here! Listen up. Get ready for fighting. Marching to war. Like, this is what I mean. If we just make um, yes. uh, Hun Won stay right here. Uh, it might work, it might not work. We're just going to test it. And if it doesn't work, um, we'll find a solution. And they are indeed coming now. They are bringing a couple of units. Alright. Let's get this works. Yes. Uh, Drango, if we send him alone, it should be sufficient enough to be honest. I will only address you in an order. Your will, my lord. Yes. Let's wait a bit with the Barrow Whites. Let's get more units now. Yeah, we really don't want to be idle over here now. We want to finish them off quickly and move on. <laughs> they are already retreating though. This is so weird. Let's see if this plan works out. Did they not even attack? Yeah, this is weird, definitely. <laughs> Dwellen. Yes. Come and get me, you coward. My lord. Be gone. Can't really see what kind of unit it is. I will only address They're two down scouts. An order. Your will, my lord. Yes. Orders. They didn't even sell out for this guy. Order. This is kind of tragic. Um I guess sieging him out with one unit, I don't think it's going to work in the long term. Uh, let's just try to... I think we'll have to attack them, even though that's so suicidal. I don't know if we have the force to do it either. I will have to think this through a little bit. Uh, but we're definitely bringing down Im Imladris, of, of course. Uh, so things aren't um, going badly. Let's get these units as well. And these guys can just head for this fort at once. We're already at the 22nd turn. This has gone so fast. Um, let's get Grand Change. It's what we can afford at the moment. 
but it's probably time to start saving up for a couple of mines. We haven't really built that yet, and that's definitely something we want. Uh, they still haven't taken these uh, neighboring settlements. An order. Finish them. Only a matter of like this army consists of almost yeah. only wargs. An order. So the best thing would just be to siege them out. Um, I think we could we could potentially try the strategy where we just leave a couple of units. Uh, as it looks like they weren't really interested in attacking us at all. We're going to move these guys out in the next turn as well and take Kameth Brin. Um, and we could probably just uh, start heading towards Dunan with a couple of other generals as well. Uh, on the other hand, we are making the solid money now. Um, let's get some Barrow Whites. It's kind of cool to have one of those. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's been a very weird ep episode. Um, we have taken... We are taking down Imladisto. It's just a matter of time. Waiting 10 turns is going to be a long... It's going to be a pain in the ass. And... Um, it's kind of... If we attack them, I don't think we have the force to really bring them down either. They got, they're getting such a large garrison. So it might be the wise to just siege them out. On the, on the other hand, that's going to allow the Dunedain to... Um, gather up, but we might want to split this force if we take Agendar down here, take out Kamethbrin, then we can uh, move on further and bring a lot of uh, units from this army out. Just leave a couple of units um, so that we know we're going to get the victory. I think that's what we're going to do. Yes. Leave uh, Hundvon with a couple of war grade units and probably a pike unit, and then just send Agendar with the rest of the army and assault Fenasturinin. So then we actually have a plan. That's uh, that's excellent. Um, and otherwise, we are doing quite fine. Our economy is very strong. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, remember to leave some feedback, like the video, and subscribe uh, if you're not a subscriber yet, and you if you enjoy if you enjoy my content. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys.